Hi guys, this is Grim back from the Retro Rebellion, and um, today I have an Xbox here that I just got in today. It is Saturday. Um, and I figured it was broken. It was labeled on eBay as um, disc reader stopped working, needs replacing, or something like that. Like something that didn't really know how to fix it, I thought, whatever. So I cracked it open, and I figured, okay, it has the open chair. Someone had already opened it, security seal's gone, and there was some chewed up on the tabs. But I opened it. I haven't plugged it into my TV, but I plugged it in. I have plugged in here and the AV cables in, and I'm just gonna turn it on and show you what's really going on here. Um, I fixed some open trailers before with uh, the worm gear and the laser, but I've never fixed one with this particular problem. So I figured I'd make a video on it. So if I just if I zoom in here, okay. So now I'm zoomed in. If I power it on, you're gonna see the laser start moving. And after the laser moves, this disc spindle is supposed to spin up, but it is jammed. Um, so it's powered on and stuff and all that. So, but this disc thing, I'm really trying to. I'm like trying. It takes some force to actually move this thing. So this just need, basically needs to be greased up. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this, you may have this problem. You may have a problem with the laser, or the worm gear, or something. But uh, this is pretty much just gonna be a quick fix on how to fix this. Um, spindle. I just want to make a side note. Um, if you want to make sure that this is, is actually the problem, then if you take a look, this is a working disk drive, um, and it spindle. You go that, and it spins. And then again, versus this one, that if you, it doesn't. You can't do that. You can't do that. You have to really try to spin it. So that's a comparison. So let's get to fixing it. So for this fix, I have um, some, uh, let me see if I can get this, just WD-40, uh, a small Phillips head screwdriver, the disk drive that's busted, and that's pretty much all you're going to need. I don't, I'm not really sure if this is a permanent fix, that you could buy these on eBay for like 2 or $3, but I just wanted to see if this would work as a fix. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna. Obviously, not gonna be posting on YouTube. I'm just probably just gonna buy one of these um, and cut this part out. Anyway, so you're gonna take there's. If you look on the underside of the board drive, there are three screws. One, two, three. Like the in this area, there's three screws. So you're gonna want to take those out. Um, yeah, we'll get on with it after that. Side note, you're gonna want to unplug this. Oh, let me see if I can get this in focus. This uh, blue cable right here. And just give it a nice little tug. You could set the other part of the chassis aside and. Um, yep, now you have the spindle and we'll, we'll get working with that. Okay, so we here we have our um, spindle motor. And. Um, here we have our WD-40. Basically, anyway, but then what we're gonna do is take our WD-40, and there are let me see if I can get it. there are two little holes. There's one here, and there's one here. And you're going to just take your WD-40, um, yeah, I'm actually gonna do this off to the side so I don't get it on my table. But you're just gonna take your WD-40. Two little squirts. I'm actually going to take a paper towel and wipe off the excess.
basically you just keep spraying it a little bit at a time and working it until it gets to uh, spin really smooth. So I'll see you once I have it spinning really smooth and um, I'll put it back in and show you that it works. I've been working it for a while and I've been, um, for a few minutes I would say, I put just, um, put some WD-40 in there, turned it upside down I found is actually one of the best ways to um, get the WD-40 in there. Uh, it's sprayed in there while it's upside down so it all goes down and drips down to where like the um, actual part that spins the spins it is. So now as you can see it's spinning nice and smoothly definitely compared to uh, before when it was stuck. Uh, and it looks to be spinning okay right now and it should be uh, okay to put back in the uh, drive because WD-40 doesn't conduct electricity, but I would be just make sure that you really clean off the part where you put the CD like good. I don't think it will hurt it much, but um, can't hurt. And also the connectors, I'd say. But everything else should be fine. You can let it dry if you're uh, worried that it might be bad for the circuit board or anything, but I really don't see how that's uh, it's going to be that much of a problem. So if we just take our drive... Tip it back upside down. The cable goes in this slot right there. That's what the cable goes underneath there, and it connects the circuit board. So you're going to want to feed the cable tube first in that slot, and the spindle should connect into the notches that are set there for it. If you turn it over, you should be able to see where the screws are going to go in the um, in the holes. So we're going to take our three screws. That's, an, that's all in there tight, and you just want to plug this cable back into its socket. You don't need to worry too much about it, just pretty much it goes in uh, to where that, there's a blue line on the cable. So, uh, yeah, we're going to plug it back into the Xbox and see how it works. So, it looks to me like it's reading. There's no way to really tell for sure unless I plug it back uh, into the TV, which I don't actually have a TV down here. So... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, uh, post them down below. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.